Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. So in this video, I'm gonna just show you guys what I eat in a week as a vegan. As you guys know, I was an alkaline vegan, but I pretty much am not anymore because I kind of got bored with a lot of the food. However, probably 98% of my stuff is still alkaline. And the reason why is because I know that my body actually feels good, but you also still need balance. Uh, so what I'm gonna do right now is make some breakfast. And I'm eating, I'm going to be eating some granola, granola cereal that I made from scratch. And I'll give you guys a little pan over of that. If you guys can see this, that is just some regular oats, which I typically do not eat. I usually eat Kamut oats or Spell oats, but I feel like it comes out a little bit better with this one. Maybe I'll try it again with the Kamut. So this is just some regular organic oats with some organic raisins and organic pumpkin seeds and organic walnuts. And I did put a little bit of agave in here uh, to get it to sweeten up a little bit. Um, when I put it in the oven, I put a little bit of grapeseed oil, just a little bit, and I stuck it in the refrigerator. Most people do not stick it in the refrigerator. I do. Um, I don't like anything open in my pantry, so that's what I'm gonna be having. And also, I'm gonna add in to here some strawberries, some blueberries, and I have some bananas. And I didn't, I wasn't able to find my regular baby bananas. So I had to opt for some organic, regular bananas, which I typically don't eat. And then for my milk, you guys already know, I make my own milk using walnuts. I usually put hemp seeds in it, but when I do eat cereal, I do not put hemp seeds in it because it gives it like a weird, I don't know, it sits on the top. So I put some walnuts and just some, some uh, spring water, and some agave and that's it. So let's just get started so you guys can see my cereal.
Hey guys, welcome back. I'm not gonna be showing my face today. I'm going, I have on sweats too. But I'm gonna be cooking some dinner for you guys. Uh, and this is, like I said, Monday. So for dinner, I'm gonna have some chickpeas. Chickpeas, like curry chickpeas with some green peppers, red peppers, and some onions. And I'm gonna try to make like a curry, like gravy type of soupy situation. I'm gonna make some quinoa with it. And probably that's it. Cause I think the dumplings and stuff will make it kind of hearty. So I have my spelt flour in here. I'll let you guys see this once I start kneading this down. I usually just put just plain salt in here, sea salt, and some water and that's it. Um, and then I'm gonna actually add in these mushrooms. Uh, let me see if you guys can see that. Can you guys see that? Let me see if I can make sure you guys can. Uh oh. Can you guys see that? So I'm going to be putting these in there. I was going to use portobello, but not today. Um, my seasonings that I'm going to be using is the kelp. Kelp seasoning. I have some, some sea salt. I have oregano I'm not supposed to use garlic but I'm gonna sprinkle some garlic on there some onion powder and some pepper and then I have some curry seasoning all right guys so I'm gonna actually just get started and start cutting up my my peppers and stuff and my onion cut some of that up I've been packaging my stuff in these I like this a lot for home goods it does have like a little vent here for you so depending on what you put in there fruits or vegetables uh, you can do you can open it or close it and then and like I said today if I can figure out a good way to start filming these then you know I'll do a lot more cooking videos. So let's just cut this.
And let's start to make the, the dough for the dumplings. All right, so. And here's the thing guys, I usually do not, I use a spoon, I don't know why this works for me. It works for me. So here's the little bit of dough. And I just need a couple of pieces to put in there and I'm just gonna use some water. And honestly guys, I just, I wing it. I literally wing it. This is not a lot here, so um, I don't even think this is a full cup. I just need a couple of pieces in there. And the reason why I'm not showing my face today is because I am a little under the weather. I don't even want to say under the weather. My tummy hurts. And I'm kind of just dragging today. But I had a feel for this, so while I was working today, I was like, let me just, you know, make some of this for dinner. And I have some planters. I usually don't eat regular planters. I'll buy burrow bananas. But maybe I'll make some of that too and add it on my um my meal for the day see and i just kind of like i don't have that machine that people use <laughs> and when i figured out that i could do it this way this was the best thing since sliced bread and it comes out just fine and again i just put uh spring water and sea salt that's it that is it and i make like and I just kind of go around until it gets into a bowl for me. And these are my way of making dumplings. <laughs> I'm sure there's a, a real nice recipe out there. Um, and what I usually do, honestly, with the dumplings, since I just cook for one person, um, actually, you can make, even one cup makes enough for two people. So, for me, if I just wanted like a snack or something, I'll just use the one cup and then kind of go from there. And then I have a little extra flour. And this is spelt flour, guys. That's the white spelt. You could actually use the whole wheat spelt, uh, but it doesn't give you the same type of texture, you know? See, I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see it. It doesn't give you the same, it's not as easy. I usually, if I usually, if I do use the whole wheat one, I would um, use some, what do you call that? Garbanzo bean flour in there. Yeah, so. And this is what I do. I just kind of take it and knead it with my um my hands and stuff. This little girl is so crazy in this movie. Oh, she's trying to burn the little brother up. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Is she standing there watching? <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> oh. 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 Shoot. Oh, she's crazy. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit more flour. And I'm gonna let it sit. while I season up the um, the garbanzo bean flour, I mean, go, the chickpeas, because they're already cooked. She crazy, y'all, all right. I'm just gonna do this like this. If 
you guys are okay with me not showing my face, <laughs> then I'll cook some more. I work from home, so sometimes I'm just kind of like, well, today definitely lounging around. I just totally didn't feel good. All right, so here's the dough. I'm just gonna make like a couple of pieces of of um, dumplings, and let me rinse my hands off. Okay. Rinse my hands off. Grab a napkin. <clears throat> And I just cover it up for a second. So now I'm gonna actually take the chickpeas and season those up. Let me grab another bowl. advice if you guys are using curry or anything try to use a, a pot like this so here are my chickpeas that I already cooked and I just throw them out the juice is still in here uh, these are fresh chickpeas not canned um, and when I make them I usually just put some sea salt and that's it. Because sometimes I like to save the water, the aquafaba water, and save it for like an egg base for some stuff. So I'm using the same seasonings that I used on the mushrooms with the exception of the kelp. Let's put some sea salt on here. This sea salt is so annoying. Okay, and let's put, oh, you know what I don't have? Where's my cayenne pepper? Let me grab the cayenne pepper, guys. All right, so I'm gonna put some cayenne pepper and then I'm going to I'm gonna put a little bit more curry on here. I just have, I don't know why I have a taste for it like this today. And I'm just gonna let this sit here for a little bit. So it looks a little crazy because it has like the juice on it. So let's leave that. All right, so we can also set that to the side. And now we're gonna put on a little bit of oil on the pot for cooking. We're gonna put, I have some quinoa in here. This is one cup of quinoa, so I'm gonna put two cups of water. Okay, two cups. I'm gonna put a little bit of sea salt in here. Quinoa has a really like distinctive taste. Let's put a little bit of pepper too. I should put my little sofrito in here, but no. Can't have sofrito with a <laughs> curry. And then I'm going to now cut up the pieces of my dumplings. We'll space them out and put those in a small pot. And then in this water, a little bit of sea salt again. Like just a tiny bit. Okay. Let's put this back here. I'm gonna turn this on, the quinoa. Let's turn that on. And let's kind of like break this up.
All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, I'll turn the fire on. I'm gonna put on the green peppers, red peppers and stuff. Once that cooks down, I'm gonna put the garbanzo beans in there. So I have the chickpeas in here now with the curry sauce. I'm just gonna let it cook down like this. And let it cook. Quinoa. It's almost done. I let it sit sometimes because sometimes it doesn't completely get fluffy for me. So I end up like turning it with a spoon or whatever. Let me grab another one. Let's grab another one. Let's see. See, I could tell that it's not fluffy like I like it. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of water. Just a little bit. Uh, let's see. And then I'm gonna cover it back up. Just a little bit. And then I just stir it up a little bit. And I let it sit. And then my dumplings look like they're gonna overflow, <laughs> but it's okay. And then here's this. Trying to cook down. And then I'll put the mushrooms in, in a second. I'll let that cook. And then I'll be back with the finished product, guys. All right. All right, guys, so this is pretty much done. I'm just letting that simmer down. And I ended up putting on some, some plantains just to go with it, so let me let that cook. And Quinoa is done, and I will give you guys the final presentation in a second. And I think I, I was gonna make some ginger ginger beer, but uh, the way my stomach is feeling right now, I think I'm just gonna drink a huge glass of water because um, I haven't been drinking much water today, but I'm feeling really ugh today. So um, I'll be back with the final the final plate, and I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, guys. All right guys, so here is the finished product. I hope you guys can see that. So I did put some plantains on here. I have my quinoa and I also have some lime water right here. So bon appetit to me. Good morning guys, it's Tuesday morning and I'm about to make some breakfast. I'm not really that hungry today, so it's because I had a big dinner last night. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make some spelt avocado toast and it's really simple. I just have avocado, organic avocado, 
and some small plum tomatoes and some spelt bread, okay? And I'm actually gonna have a, a side of fruit with this. Maybe some tea, I'm not too sure because sometimes when I drink tea and eat fruit, I don't know, it just, it doesn't agree with me. So I'm not sure just yet what I'm going to drink for breakfast. I need some tea, so maybe I'll drink it a little bit later, um, but we'll see. All right, guys, so I'm going to put the spelt to toast, the spelt bread into the toaster. This bread is frozen. Um, I buy it from the farmer's market, and they make it fresh, so you have to freeze it right away. Hence why it looks like this. It's just a little shape where, but this is the spelt toast. So let me toast this right now and get back and get the, actually, I'm going to stick it in the toaster. Um, and then I'm going to cut up the avocado and cut up everything and season it up. All right. Alright guys, so I'm about to eat some lunch and I'm not really 
hungry. It's probably because I was snacking on some stuff earlier. But it is 12 o'clock. And I'm actually just going to make a juice today, guys. And I'm going to keep it really simple with some strawberry, blueberry, banana, and some watercress. And I would probably put a slice of ginger. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. So that's it. I'm just going to quickly get started. I'm going to put my strawberries in here. And again, guys, I usually cut these up the week before I have some ice in it because I want it really cold. And I'll probably put like four strawberries. I'm gonna put, let's put that to the side. Let's put some, some blueberries. Okay. I love blueberries. I don't have any sea moss, and I usually put sea moss. I'm gonna put a full banana. I'm a little nervous before it makes me like my stomach hurt. I'm gonna put a full banana. And I told you guys the last time that I usually don't buy conventional bananas. I usually just get baby bananas. And then I'm going to take some watercress, like a handful of watercress and put that in here also. So here's the watercress. And I clean this off also when I bring in my groceries, um, when I go shopping. And I'm just gonna press that in there. <laughs> See if I can... Watercress has like a little spicy little flavor. Um, I usually mix dandelion in here, but they didn't have any this time. And I only like to buy it from one farmer's market here in Atlanta, not the other one. So here we are, that's it. And then, and this should hold me over until like dinner. And I'm just gonna add some water up to there, I believe. Where's my line? Oh, I think I went a little past it, but whatever. <laughs> uh, let's cover that up and let's juice that up. And you guys know I use my regular juicer, my Ninja. And the Ninja has a few settings I told you guys. And um, they do have the one for juice. Okay. So let's grab that. And I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me because I'm walking away from it. But I'm trying to do this really quick. This is really good. Okay, so if if I wasn't putting in watercress, because watercress has like slight of a peppery flavor, if I were to just do the dandelion, I would take a piece of fresh ginger and put it in there. And let me tell you, that really changes the flavor of everything. And it's so yummy. All right, so let's put this here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm just gonna turn it this way because the plug is so, so, um, so short that you won't be able to see the front of the juicer when I'm pressing. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna press start and I'm just gonna put act, extract in and that's it. So that's it. And when I'm trying to do this quick, I usually just keep it in there when I'm being lazy. Because it does come with tops that you can use. Um, and you don't have to uh, pour it into a cup. So since I'm just kind of like chilling on my lunch break, 
maybe I'll start vlogging that me while I'm working from home. Um, I'll let you guys see. I've been at work from home telecommuter for over eight years. Uh, so won't catch me in the office. <laughs> so this is my juice. I'm probably just gonna snack on something because this is kind of fulfilling. Maybe I'll make some guacamole. Um, I'll make some guacamole and have it with this. But that's it. This is gonna be my lunch for today, guys. My little smoothie. And that's it. This will hold me over. I have, I get off at four o'clock. I have a couple of meetings and I should be okay. And then I'll probably have a decent sized dinner. Try to eat early so I won't go to bed with that on my stomach. But the food that I do eat, guys, remember, it, it doesn't really fill me to the point where I'm stuffed. Um, I never feel bloated or anything like that. Hence why I eat wild rice and not regular rice. If I do cheat with regular rice, I'm totally like stuffed. So, but anyway, that's my lunch for today and I'll catch you guys at dinner. Bye.
Hey guys, I was cooking and I'm just like, let me just film this and add this on to what I eat as a vegan. Um, I am making some quinoa stir fry. I have yellow peppers, red pepper, yellow um, onions, and some, I think it's called sabrera, sabrera <laughs> um, peppers, I think that's what it's called. They look like jalapenos, but they're not as hot. Um, and I just have some quinoa on the stove. About to put some water in there and go from there, guys. I don't think I'm gonna put any scallion in there, but um, because I have onions already, maybe, I'm not sure yet. But I will let you guys see everything once I'm done. Um, I think that's it. It's just gonna be a quick little stir fry. I may put some avocado on the side. Not too sure yet, but this is gonna be my dinner for today. All right, guys. All right, guys, so here's the quinoa. Uh, just the FYI, it's one cup of quinoa to two cups of water. If you're making like maybe a small batch for yourself, a small pot for yourself. All right, and then I do use grapeseed oil for everything else that I am cooking, guys. And this is the brand that I use from my local farmer's market, okay? Um, and that's it for now. Let me get the other stuff on the stove. Let me let the oil heat up here. I tore this pot up, y'all. Can you tell? Um, <laughs> uh, let me get the rest of the stuff on the stove and let you guys see that. All right, so I have my quinoa on. I have the water on. And let's change that. So I usually use one cup of quinoa to two cups of water. Uh, and the reason why I do that is because cooking this in wild rice is very tricky. Um, my wild rice, I would use one cup of wild rice to like five cups of water. And that's because you're supposed to soak it overnight. But I don't, it just takes too long. So I figured out a way to do it the other way. And I just have my red peppers, yellow peppers, and onions in here. And then I will end up putting in my mushrooms and my other peppers. All right, guys. All right, guys, so I'm gonna make a mango, strawberry, banana, and dandelion drink today for my dinner with my quinoa. And again, I'm gonna use the smoothie one. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna be having tonight with my quinoa, which is almost done. This meal takes probably about 30 minutes, if that. Yeah, 30 minutes. Because the quinoa doesn't take long to cook. And neither does the mushrooms, guys. So I'll be back with everything finished. As you guys can see, I put the quinoa in my mushrooms and stuff. I also put a little bit of this. It's good. It doesn't have a lot of sodium. Um, and it's vegan. So, I'm almost done with everything. I'm going to let this cook down for a little bit longer. And then I'm done. So, like a one pot meal. Well, it ends up being one pot. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys, so here's everything. Let me see if you guys can really see. So that's my quinoa and my green juice. That's it, guys. All right, until next meal. Bye.
Good morning, guys. So today for breakfast, um, I am just going to make some oatmeal with some peaches. Let me grab my peaches and show you guys. So pretty much, actually, let me give you guys a little panel of the refrigerator. Let me grab this. So I usually leave my peaches and stuff in here. Um, and I have some pears and stuff in there. And you guys can see my ginger, some pineapple, cantaloupe, strawberry, and blueberry. But let me grab one of these and bring it here. Let me just sit it here until I grab my cutting board. And I usually add a little bit of agave also. So let me grab my cutting board. I need a new cutting board, guys. If you hear a noise, that's my tea over here. Trying to um, warm up for me. So that's already washed, but I'm gonna rinse it again because some, I don't know, with pe peaches, Kind of, it's kind of a little weird for me. But let me rinse this off really quick. I think I already told you guys, I wash my fruit and veggies the day I bring them in the home. I don't know, I just feel like there's always little bugs, especially on the kale. So, let's put that there. Let me grab a pot. For some oatmeal. And let's just sit that there really quick. And I just, I just pour some. Honestly, guys, I really just eyeball it. I do. I'm not very good with measuring. And then I'm going to add some spring water. Sometimes I use walnut milk, but today I'm just going to use spring water. All right. So I have some oatmeal. That may not be enough water, but I'm probably going to add a little bit more. Let me see. Let me cut up. Let me cut up some my peaches. So I don't know. I told you guys I went to one market out here in Atlanta. And I purchased um, and these are not organic. No. You know, sometimes I notice some things when I buy non-organic and opposed to organic. And it kind of makes me think a lot about this stuff. I mean, a lot of the foods we eat, I don't know. Sometimes I even think organic is not even safe. To be honest with you. They're trying to take us down, guys. And I just cut it up 
just so I can get it inside of my bowl. I ain't gonna lie, sometimes it's like overflowing. It'll be overflowing, this is the leftover piece. Let's trash that. So I'm just gonna let the oatmeal cook and then come back with the last. I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon. So I have two cinnamons here. Um, sometimes I use regular cinnamon. And then other times when I'm trying to be <laughs> a savvy baby, I use the saline, saline um, cinnamon. Uh, this is like pure cinnamon, guys. So I'm going to use some of this today. And if you guys want to buy this one, this is by Frontier um, Co-op and it's organic. So that's the original cinnamon. It tastes completely different. It literally smells like Christmas. <laughs> like Christmas cinnamon. Uh, opposed to the other one, which has a much more subtle flavor and smell. So I will pan over once I'm done with everything and let you guys see my quick little breakfast. And I think I'm going to, I'm just going to drink some tea today.